Caspar gets to speak with Dorothea. Oh, Caspar, just who I was hoping to see. I have a tiny little request if you have time to help me. I'm always happy to help. What can I do for you? That is exactly what I was hoping to hear. Would you mind coming along to my room? Your room? Uh, okay. <laughs> this uh, isn't what I uh, had in mind. Uh, uh. Come on, a big, strong guy like you. This is easy. Lift up the cabinet, please. I need to dust behind it. There's still more to do. Why do you care so much about keeping this place clean? It's just a dorm room. Leaving this place a mess wouldn't be fair to the next person who's assigned here. In fact, I think once we're done with this room, we should clean up your room as well. Yeah, I don't think so. I have some actual training to do. Oh, come to think of it, I have a date myself. The fella I'm seeing has quite a charming face, rich family, and I assume a tolerable personality. Don't you get tired of spending time with all these guys who have tolerable personalities? Oh, it gets tedious at times. You must listen to them talk, for one thing. But it's important for my future. That's how I see my training. I guess it's pretty much the same thing. I don't know if that's a comparison you really want to make. Why not? Seems about right to me. Sure, I'm a noble, but I'm also a second son. I don't have anything coming to me. Why do you think I'm always training so much? I need to prove myself on the battlefield if I plan on making it anywhere in this world. I know you don't have noble status or wealth, so you're putting in the effort to marry wealth, right? See? Pretty much the same thing. I suppose. It would be nice if everyone saw it that way. Well then, Caspar, I need to get ready for my date. But shall we both agree to work hard for our futures? Absolutely. I just hope our efforts are worth it. Okay, let's see who wow. else we have. There's a lot, more. lot of characters. I'm gonna go grab something soft to sit on. Vernedetta can speak with either Dorothea or Petra. And actually, it's their B conversations. Oh, find someone boring, he says. Okay, let's see. Probably Mercedes and... Nah, not Mercedes and Sylvain. Wander likes Sylvain too much. Ingrid and... No, we, we want to see the history of Sylvain and Ingrid. Petra and Bernadetta? Or Petra and Ash? Pet Petra and Ash, probably. Let's see. Ash, I need to give you more gratitude for the commoner techniques you showed me. Commoner techniques? Oh, you mean when I haggled for you. Yes, it has made for many savings. I was telling the professor, we both are so happy. <laughs> really, it wasn't a big deal, but I'm glad the professor was pleased. Hmm. Uh, what is it? Do I have something on my face? For a lot of time, I was living in the Imperial capital. Then I came here to the monastery. Both places contain many nobles, and many chances to be learning noble customs. That's true. When you're surrounded by new people, you naturally pick up all kinds of stuff. Though with nobles, there's a lot to learn. All the etiquette is overwhelming. Not to mention the dancing. Ah, I just keep stepping on my partner's feet. In Fodlin, the nobles are training for dancing since their youth. They have much skill. When I was a kid, I spent most of my time helping out at my parents' restaurant and playing with my brother and sister. Back then, I never dreamed I'd ever be studying at a proper academy with all these nobles. I have learned many customs of the nobles, but few of the commoners. I am hoping you will teach me. Techniques, secret skills, anything. All of the things. Secret skills? <laughs> I don't think I know anything that fancy. That is not the truth. The technique for money saving could be helpful even for nobles. It has use for all the world. I don't know about that. Really, I don't have any special secrets. Commoner wisdom is only to be shared with commoners, then? I have understanding. Forbidden knowledge. Ash. 
How about we make a bargain? We can be trading information. In Bridget, powerful curse techniques are passed down. And we can speak with the spirits. I can be teaching you these things. What? C curses? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I don't need any dangerous information like that. But if you really insist, I guess I could teach you a few things about what life is like on the streets. Would that be enough? You will be showing me the secret techniques? I cannot be waiting! Uh, that's not what I meant. Secret techniques. <laughs> Oh. There's Petra and Bernadetta. I think she's one of the few characters that she gets B. Alright. Yep. Hunting? Really? There's no way I can do this. Goddess, why couldn't I have stayed in today? Bernadetta, is this a trouble you are having? I heard that the duty to hunt is yours today. The, the duties all got assigned while I was holed up in my room. Do not be worrying. I can show you the way to hunt well. Oh, um, okay then. When you see a beast, you are thinking of it as an enemy. That is how prey thinks. You must think of the beasts as food. That is how the hunter thinks. So it's not an enemy, it's food. But, um, how is it food when it's still alive? You pick the vegetables from the field. Those have life too. It is the same. You take a blade in your hand and take the lives of the vegetables. You cut their stalks and harvest without mercy. They do not scream, but you are still their killer. K killer Fruit ripens and falls to the ground. The seeds sprout and a new life is born. That is life's cycle. It has cruelty, yes. But you must end life to eat. You must be killing to be living. Maybe, but I don't know if I want to be some... some kind of vegetable murderer. It is the same for rabbits, deer, pheasants. The only difference being that they cannot cry out. You must do what you must do to be living in this world. It is your task. A task? Yes, just a task. A completely mindless task. Feel it. There, in the grass. Prey is moving. Just like a vegetable in the wind. Give it an arrow, just like you would give a vegetable a blade. It is just your task. Uh, right. That makes sense. It's just like cutting a stem. You are now a hunter. You have learned how to hunt. I am? I have? Oh, good! What a relief! You have understanding now. I can tell. Great! Leave it to me! I'll hunt down my prey just like their vegetables! I have belief in you. Aw, oh, thanks, Petra! I can do this! Make way for Huntmaster Bernie! Have luck, Bernie. <laughs> Even rabbits can get the best of her. What's going on? Of course. She ran into a, a, a monster, with, a beast with big pointy teeth. But what is it called again? Oh, I don't even remember. Big pointy teeth. It's, I mean, it's from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I totally forget, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, so we have Mercedes and Sylvain. Just just flip through them quick, Shell. Okay, fine. Mercedes, I swear, the whole cathedral glows with heavenly light when you're around. Hello, Sylvain. What a treat to see you here. I thought Next you to preferred the places with more ladies around. I'm here because you're Rebel. here. I, I love Rebel. I don't care Rebel. about other girls. Oh, come now. I'm sure you use that line all the time. Actually, I've only said it to girls who thought I was lying about being faith 
you know what? There's no reason to get into all that. The truth is, I would really like to spend some time with you. What do you say to that? Well, if you were really interested in me, I would want you to get to know me better. I agree. I've been such an idiot in the past, always angling for the seduction. I've forgotten how to just talk to someone. You act like you're full of regret, but I know you don't really mean it. Still, I'm glad to hear you say that at least. I told you such a boring story the last time we spoke. I was worried you might think I was a dull person. Dull? No. I was worried that I'd made you remember unhappy times. It's horrible what you had to go through. It's not like anyone chooses to be born with a crest. Right. We can't choose our bloodline. You've got a crest too, haven't you, Sylvain? What has your experience been like? Are you asking how being born with a crest affected me? Yes. I know there was that business with your brother Miklon, but I'm sure you don't want to talk about all that. It's not a very happy story. Please don't feel the need to hold back on my account. I'm here if you need someone to share in your pain. Would you want to know more about me, even if I didn't have a crest, or come from a noble family? This has nothing to do with your crest or family. I'm just asking as your friend. How should I put this? When I look at you, I don't see a crest. I want to see the real you. You... you do? Here's the short version. I hate crests. Even though having one is supposed to be such a great blessing, mine has ruined everything. Miklon was heir to our house. Then I was born, and I became the heir because I had a crest. That made my older brother jealous enough to want to kill me. And every woman in Fothen wants to have my little crest baby, so they can join the nobility. Yeah, there you go. That's what it's like to have a crest. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up such awful things. No, I... I should keep my temper better. I don't want you to see me act that way. Don't say that. I'm glad we were able to talk. I feel like I'm finally seeing the real you. Oh, Sylvain, will you save me from the curse of having a crest? Of course. I think I love you. And I mean that with all my heart. I love you, Mercedes. Let's get married and have crest babies. Sure, sure. That, that was just joking at the end, right? Yeah, probably. Either that or that was a wildly insensitive thing to say, but still. Okay, these two are supposed to be childhood friends, so let's see. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. <laughs> One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! Ah! Come on! I was eight and she was gore... That was a long time ago. Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you. Please be <laughs> quiet. When you were ten, we went to that harvest festival and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Uh. Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwyndal's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me, always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? Mm -hmm. Do 
Ordinate, there is no try. I really think that that is a hollow promise. A hollow one at that. And by cleaning up the casualties, she probably means consoling all the girls that have been dumped by him. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Probably, yeah. All right, let's see, Petra and... Just, just talk to Claude. Claude, oh, I didn't realize it was Claude. Yeah, I thought you were just skipping Claude. it for reasons. What do you do? You know? The training equipment needed maintenance, so I thought I'd give it a good cleaning and some oil. Why is that for you to do? If you intend to use something a lot, it's on you to take good care of it. You are a noble who does not have fear of working with hardness or becoming dirty. And you can climb trees. I am impressed. Thanks, but to be honest, I don't think being a noble really has anything to do with anything. Nobles and commoners are all equal here. We're all buddies. Even you do chores, don't you? Social rank doesn't matter when you put your life in each other's hands. I like that about this place. I have your same opinion. Status is something chosen by chance, not by a person. Everything became different when I came from Bridget to the Empire. Nobility does not stop life from surprising you. I know just what you mean. It's not like the ancestors of the nobility or royalty were selected by the goddess herself, after all. What does origin or status matter? In the grand scheme of things, we're all just insignificant mortals. Nobility isn't a matter of birthright alone. At least not in my eyes. Claude, you are... <laughs> very much strange for a noble. Thanks, and same to you. You're a princess of Bridget, right? If I'm a strange noble, you are too. I am normal in Bridget. In Fodlin, you are an... abnormality. <laughs> an abnormality, am I? Gentleman that I am, I'll go ahead and take that as a compliment. I think also that your heart is kind. I am thinking you will be a good king. I'll remember that. But for now, this equipment isn't going to clean itself. I will be helping you. We will join together our efforts. <laughs> You're an abnormality, princess. A wonderful abnormality. Hey. Abnormality. What what's what are you laughing about so much over there? What? So you know how there's the flame emperor? Yes. Well somebody made a flame emperor. With a fish? Well, here, I gotta scroll over. Look at the thing at the bottom. Hitting set up with the fish. <laughs> it is amazing. Google flame emperor. It'll probably pop up. I hope it does, because it is magic. <laughs> Hello, Burn. Oh no, what did I do this time? Did I offend you? Is this your revenge? No, not at all. I just want to talk. If you promise not to resort to violence, I'll do whatever you want. Burn, I've just been worried about you, that's all. When I said I was your friend, you ran away, saying something about your father. Remember? Um, vaguely? I know you've lived through some bad times. If you could tell me about it, maybe I could help? Oh, I don't know. Please. Your father's not here now. Whatever it is, you're safe to tell me. <sighs> All right. My parents told me never to befriend a commoner. They said commoners are scum, and that they'd crush any that tried to come near me. Hang on, scum? They called me, I mean, commoners. They called us scum? Yeah, but once, a long time ago, I did secretly make friends with one, a boy. When my father found out about him, he disappeared the very next day. I heard he was found beaten half to death. I never saw him again. Since then, I've been terrified of making friends with anyone. Commoners especially. I... I never knew that kind of thing really happened. You hear stories, sure, but... Oh, oh Burn, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm proud to be your commoner friend. Hey now, 
now, relax. There's nothing to ball about. If your dad tried to beat me up, I'd return the favor and then some. <sighs> return the favor? When I was in the opera, you better believe I had run-ins with the most wicked, terrible men. I survived kidnappings, attempted murders, all kinds of stuff. But you know what? I broke those guys' arms. Snap! <laughs> it was a thank you for all the trouble they went through trying to hurt me. You're incredible, Dorothea! <laughs> so, now that you know I can defend myself, can we be friends, Burn? All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, so her father really was horrific. Okay, so it's Claude and Flane? Yep. Wait, are they on A? Yeah, it's hmm. fine. Hello, Flane. Isn't it about time you told me the truth? About what the exactly? truth? Who you really are. Villains are after you for your blood. There's no doubt that you're someone special. And that's why Sedith is always worrying about you so much, right? Well, yes. I see no reason to hide that fact. But just what makes that blood of yours so special? More than anything, I've been wanting to find out Teach's true identity. But yours is bothering me almost as much. Somehow, I can't seem to stop thinking about you. It's almost like a crush. I have a crush on your secrets, Sweet Flame. <laughs> Such flattery. I've tried asking Sedith, but there's no sign of him budging on the issue. At this point, I guess I just need better bargaining skills. Or how about this? If you tell me the truth, I'll do anything you say. That is not something I am willing to share, unfortunately. However, since you are so passionate on the matter, I will promise you something. What's that? If you somehow manage to uncover the truth of my identity, I will acknowledge it as truth. That's real nice of you and all, but I think if I could come up with the truth, I'd be able to tell from your reaction anyway. You're not great at hiding your emotions, after all. If you do somehow figure it out, then I would ask something of you, Claude. I would ask that you reveal your own true identity. <laughs> now that's a request I wasn't expecting. It has been clear to me for quite some time now that you are no ordinary noble. I have been pondering, well, you, quite a lot lately. The curiosity is enough to drive me mad. I see. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Looks like we both have a little crush on our hands, huh? I hope the day comes when we can talk freely about both of our identities. <laughs> All right, I'm free. And that's it. I'm free. Give me. Are you ever gonna use Catherine and Shamir? Uh, Cyril, I haven't heard a peep from. Okay. Am I ever gonna use Catherine and Shamir? We can do that right now. Battle. Wait, 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 wait. But are these the battles that are? Well, okay. So we can do a couple of things. I thought uh, we also had to give gifts to people to get yeah, their. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, to some degree, motivation doesn't even matter so much to me anymore. Because, um, like, straight up, after a certain point, uh, after a certain point, none of these characters need training. It's just bonus. What are, what's your standing with everyone? Can uh, I see what, what X is? So I've actually been kind of putting it off with X. Yeah, you don't have... Well, A's with anyone, really. Largely because I can just force the issue whenever Aww. I feel like it. What do you mean? All I have to do is just start, like, just hey, you. burying people in gifts. Or we can go into Dorothea's room now. And she's not hiding. Oh, no, Dorothea. It's Bernadetta. Bernadetta. The campaign continues, does it? Oh, Rare. Or Okay, Bernadetta is maximum. She's maximum. I just figured since we were walking past her. Okay. But yeah, we could hey! we can spam tea parties. Professor. We can spam gifts. We might see Edelgard herself leading the end if they're coming out of Fort Mer and those not sure how we're supposed to form a strategy with so many unknowns. 
As long as you're here, I'll be fine. How come you only ever flatter me in times like these? What am I supposed to make of that? Anyway, we've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. In other words, she's unimpressed with the fact that you just compliment her right before battles. I mean, she's one of my frontliners. <laughs> like, if I played it right, I'm pretty sure I could solo much of this game with certain characters. Hunting dagger, fishing float. Wow. Probably just give her another Thanks. daffodil. Yep. Flowers. They hey. work. Flower, power, no. friendship. Harvest. Back to planting. Pale blue. That's different. Yep. Uh, we could do pale blue. Cultivate Pegasus poop. Pegasus. Oh man. The Great Bridge of Murden was considerably better fortified than it was five years ago. The bridge was full. Okay. Gifts. This is Dorothea. She likes sheet music, hair clips, and gem things. Are you, Are you so part of it is, this is how we're going to get everybody up to A rank. But like, the thing is, you've only been decreasing the motiva bleh, motivation of people that you train. train. Which means that there are substantially... There's a substantial number of people that haven't gotten up to A rank with you that you could have if you actually trained them and then gave them more gifts. Yeah. So I guess it oh, she's maxed out. We should probably just hunt people down. Uh let's see, so goals. So I'll be remember Lorenz, Raphael, Raphael Le Sithi, and Marianne. So Lysithia and Marianne are up here. Mm -hmm. Who will S rank wander? Uh, I mean, we don't. We haven't chosen yet. I get a say in this matter. Um, a Paris country. And I say I don't really know. This is Marianne. Lily of the Valley. I, I, are we talking about wander, as in wander wander, as opposed to the character I'm playing as? Because that's. <laughs> I mean, why even ask that question? It's already with me. Yeah. <laughs> I love and has, lamp. And has been for nine years. Yep. Yeah, people are curious about X. We don't know. I wish X had more of a personality so I knew who he got along with. Yeah. And it's been creepy that most of the people we talk with are just, you're so interesting. And I feel like I can just talk with you even though I barely know you. Yeah, like it's actually just... halfway tempting to just like, well, no, not S rank anybody and just go with. House Gloucester has changed its allegiance and joined the faction that is against the Empire. The Alliance will thus remain united. But thanks to the ordinary we are in the clear for Bleh. now. Because our original choice was probably Flame, given that we had suspicions that she and the main character were some kind of immortal beings. Yeah. Or at least definitely fr cut from the same cloth. But we got to make sure that we're not like. If she's cousins. a cousin. Then again, Rhea and Sadith might not be related at all. They could, because they could just be fr from the same race. They could be from the same race of dragon I'm beings. I'm not just. It's my with your pal. Oh no, he's good. Uh, let's see. So we got to find Raphael, Casper, and Petra. Oh, Petra's over here. Let's see, X is your personality. Hi. No, no, mm -mm. X is not. I would not. If they were to do that, they'd have to have way more options Noble than they do. I do not have understanding of the reasoning. You need to go back in her text. Nobles who are changing allegiance again and again. I do not have understanding for that. Yeah, how can you trust if treason how comes with ease? How can you trust if treason comes with ease? 
How can you be calling yourself a noble? Survival too. Surviving two. is more difficult without mm -mm. trust. There must be some other goal. Wander, cool. why didn't you... I was going to say for personal gain, they're only going to ally themselves with the people who they think they have something no, to benefit right. from. Um, I'm right. You are. Still, and that's why I'm sometimes leery of you being at the controls. Still doesn't matter that much. I know. It's just I want to say... This is... The perfect thing. Well, I... You didn't I, even consult with me. We could I guess for debated. me, it's like expediency matters quite a lot. Yes, yes. Yeah, X is the personality you choose. But even then, like, in that case, I would have absolutely... What the hell was that? Oh, oh there was a was kid, a kid there. Okay. But, like, in that case, I would have given X, like, I a co say, totally, like, ridiculous bombastic to feeling. Spirit alive when you recognize your enemies on the battlefield. Top one. Mm -hmm. So you can't avoid it, huh? How did everything get so messed up? Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. Mike was falling down. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, we straight up never get the chance to uh, really determine our personality here. We get like two options and usually it's, it's, so it never matters. People... There's no personality profile. Well, there are a number of options that seem to indicate that you can be overconfident. Yeah. There are definitely those. And there are also ones where you can be apathetic or indifferent. Yeah, but they're the ones where you actually, like, even imply that you have a personality are few and far between. Mm -hmm. And then following that, uh, the ones that, uh, the ones that actually oh, matter. We need to help Flame. Yeah, Flame, Ash. Sedith. Wait, or Sedith already max. Uh, I think Sedith is good. Okay, Ash is back in here somewhere. Uh, okay. But it's like, that's such a cop-out a cop response because you, straight up, we have no personality. The game is not tracking our personality. The only personality is the personality that, like, the words that we can't even put in their mouth but imagine that they would say in the situation, which just feels cheap. X Byleth is no one. They're just an avatar for us pushing the story forward and, uh, you know... God, like, we straight up have had, like, no fun or cute or entertaining conversations with anybody else. Which is, like, a bit grim. Then I think again, we only... haven't had any personal conversations in a long time. If we defeat the Imperial Army at Grandar Aside Field, from what will our next objective be? I guess we won't have much choice. It's probably... I'm sure it's already... Meh. Okay. Ash. Likes violets. Wow. Wow. Like, I think Commander Shepard is probably the best example of how to do a, um... Huh? Oh, right, I should just start training with random people again. Uh, Commander Shepard is the best so, example guess... of, like, how to handle a Avatar character, but also have them have a personality. Even if it was a bit limited, like, you still had responses. Hmm? Have we seen Flame? Or, okay. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. I feel like we get her favorite food very often. <laughs> she must this enjoy number. This is nearly as delicious as mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Okay. But no, I, I would love it if X truly had a personality that wasn't Claude the, was like, one that we imagined that they have. And, like, it does bother me a little bit because there were some, like, really fun options that we got. 
every there. once in a blue moon where you're just like Professor, you say something anyway. complete completely nuts or like way too overconfident and it's like are you sure you shouldn't train with people that you want to have further conversations with i mean nah yeah but it like it's only one happiness point after we cry, we actually cry. Oh, this is terrifying. What am I gonna do? I gotta get a grip. Okay, so back in his father's. Don't worry, I'll arrange for your funeral. Uh. You think we'll meet him on the battlefield and he'll kill me? The front lines cover a long stretch of land, you know? We might not even run into him. <laughs> okay, anyway, so. Caspar. Training weights, whetstones, smoke wheat. Whetstones. Uh, let's see. Ah, whetstone. Oh, for I actually have quite a lot of these. For me? Probably for the best. Most any character that favors martial combat has a liking for them. So Interestingly, the Felix, I don't think dead. does. Yeah, Felix doesn't. I hear. Ooh. I haven't seen the severed head myself. Perhaps he's still alive and leading that army. Would you be able to fight him? Don't patronize me. If his head is still Ooh. attached to his body, I'll remedy that without hesitation. Either way, a major battle awaits us. Try not to die. I'd be annoyed if you did. Gift. So he likes... Oh, but he's already oh, maxed. Oh, he's maxed out. Okay, so who else needs to be... Oh, Hanneman. So, Hanneman and Annette. Oh, we were right next to Annette earlier. Whoopsie. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> Claude seems filled with confidence, but I wonder if everything really will be okay. The Imperial will be on. Right, I think we already talked to her. Anyway, Annette likes... Where's Annette? Sheet music, hair mm -hmm. clips, and math textbooks. I think we gave away our hair clips. But the sheet music was up above. Hair clip. <laughs> oh, no, there's another one. Thank you. Why are you creeping on the neighbors always? I just like to look out the window and see what cars are going by. You are big brothering our neighbors. And I'm just weird. thankful that we haven't had as many people hovering in their car late at night with oh. their engines on and stuff. There's a hand man. We actually oh, haven't gotten that many here. people stopping at the mailbox for extended periods of time doing that either. It used to be annoying when there were cars with terrible mufflers going Indeed. and it would shake the when entire house. undertaking research, the usual method is to form a hypothesis then test it with experiments. Those experiments, you seem to eh. be that exception when it comes to my crest research. Ari. Right. Worry not, Professor. Exceptions are what make my work interesting. Why don't the rules apply to you? I will find out. Eh. Okay, so he likes. Anime likes dapper handkerchiefs. Okay. Apparently, Any flower? like everybody, kind of likes owl feathers. We'll give him a pitcher plant. Oh. I don't think I found a single person that likes those specifically. Okay. Have he they done the main? He didn't seem too excited about that. He's like, oh. Have we done a main mission yet? No nope. worry. I. We will be soon after what another week. Yeah. In this? The problem is. This is why I'm always a little bit like, you know, I'm not like hustle hustle, but like, there's so much content oh here that like. Oh, who did you get another rank with? Hmm. Oh, the conversation? Don't know. It was blue. I'll walk over there getting training from anybody we pass by. No. I see if someone, while I'm at it, if I didn't like. Okay, uh, let's see. Probably keep pumping Reason. I'm not actually that good of a caster, but... Why is it that we're always so freaking slow next to the 
network okay. stuff. I yeah. guess it's because it's constantly loading or something uh, silly uh -huh. like that. Professor, the time's come to... Anyway, somebody wants to speak with us. Possibly like one or two characters. But no, we have not done a main mission yet. And hopefully the next month goes Professor. faster. Hey, Professor. I think you've been working too much lately. The battle is going to keep going with or without you, but you're the one doing the most out there. It's real impressive how you can focus on giving orders and fighting. I don't think I could do both in the same battle. I see you running all over the place, even after the battle's over. I just don't want you to wear yourself out. <laughs> yeah, we've been running around before and after every battle all the time perpetually. Maybe I am tired. You gotta take a break when you can. Even when you're feeling fine, it could suddenly hit you. No offense, Professor, but don't you think some folks might be taking advantage of you? Claude keeps asking you to do things, but you never say no. Like when you gave that speech to the troops. That didn't seem like something you wanted to do. I know you gotta follow orders on the battlefield, but you shouldn't have to do things off the battlefield if you don't wanna. You've done things you didn't want to do. What do you mean? Like studying? Sure, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but that was to keep my little sis fed. I had good reason for it. Same for me. The same, huh? I think I get what you mean. You do things you don't want to do for the sake of everyone else. That's real noble of you, Professor. I guess I can't get in your way if you're doing it for the right reasons. Okay, then. I'm gonna keep trying to do my best. But now, I'm gonna do it for you. My little sis is important to me. But you're real important, too. I always work hard for the people who matter to me. And having more of them in my life just means I gotta work even harder. What do you think? I think you're important to me, too, Raphael. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say that. You're gonna make me blush. We gotta keep working hard together then. At least until this war's over. I'll work to make sure you don't collapse from exhaustion. You got nothing to worry about, Professor. I've been training non-stop. I got your back, no matter what. I'm a little disappointed you can't bromance more people in this game. Like, just... Looks like we might have a couple more, uh, yeah. Conversations who? Yes, A rank with Sylvain. Oh. Yep. Um, but like, I wish you could S rank every character as Byleth. It's just half, most of them weren't even romantic. Cause that'd be nice. At the same time, not everyone is going to be compatible with everyone. No, but like... It wasn't like... What wasn't Fire Emblem Awakening the one where everyone so. was compatible with everyone? Yeah, but it was like, you know, if we could just be like buds. Defeat, like if, uh... I'm sure it's already a if Byleth and, uh... Byleth and Raphael, for example, were just like, cool, we're just gonna go off and, like, do our own thing. Kind of like Gimli and Neg Legolas? Yeah, exactly. Or so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, let's see, who needs this badly? Actually, he does. I've cut. I've cut. So, he should be able to become a Dark Knight now. Yeah. Assuming he gets to level 30. But still. Okay. Uh, who else needs it? Actually, she does. Have we done Grander Field yet? No. Nope. Not yet. We're about to, well, actually after another week? Yeah, we got one more week. Like... We handled some... What are they called again? The green battles? <laughs> yeah, we did the two paralogues, paralogue. a regular battle, support conversations aplenty, and a, but a bunch and of some other training. things. Let's see, Ferdinand is fine. Bernadette is fine. Petra. Okay. 
your you have wonder doesn't do another battle week uh... what battle week uh so we have one more activity yes. period mm -hmm. <laughs> and i don't know thanks for we started earlier with Fire Emblem than we normally would have. Yeah. So we're actually going to be given an opportunity to have a battle earlier in the night. Yeah. That. Did we attack the Windcaller with Claude, Flane, and Sedith? Yep. Though, uh, Flane's dialogue was identical. Pretty much identical to what happened with uh, in deck. Yeah. She's like, shh, uncle, shh. Uncle, shh. Let's sit. Shh. Shush. Shushy, shushy. You was... <laughs> really? That was. Guess I. Sethlene is a pretty name. It is. It reminds me of Celine and Seth mixed Her together. Tasks. Horse time with Lysithia. And Hanneman. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like it's going to end well. I don't care. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Ah, uh, that hurts. Ah, Professor. Thanks for stopping by. Oh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Eh. Probably top one. How's your injury? It's not that it matters. Like, yeah. friendship points on Sylvain are meaningless at this point. It's not bad. I was even told I'd be cleared for service starting tomorrow. Besides, I got this scar fighting for you. It's almost like a medal or something. Huh? What was the didn't you want to kill me? I'm gonna me ask about? him that anyway. Didn't you want to kill me? I certainly meant it when I said it, but when I thought you were going to be killed for real, my reflexes kicked in. I reacted without thinking. It doesn't mean I've stopped being jealous of you. But come on, I can't help but look up to you. If I'd had the guts to run away from home, I wonder if I would have cared as little about my crest as you do yours. You didn't have the courage? No. But if I thought I could have escaped, I would have tried. I'd leave behind House Gautier, and the life of a nobleman, and anybody who knew I had a crest. Our home is to the very north of the kingdom. Just across the mountains from us is land inhabited by foreigners to Fodlan. It once belonged to Fargus, but now that the kingdom has collapsed, it's only a matter of time until fighting breaks out. Anyway, that land has been contested for centuries, and all that time, it has fallen to House Gautier to protect it. Actually, our Lance of Ruin has been doing most of the protecting. I remember, five years ago. Those were dangerous times. One wrong step, and we would have lost our relic to the church. My father was afraid that the church would try to keep the Lance, so he entrusted it to me. If an emergency arose, I was supposed to be called back home. I guess those very situations are why my family values crests so much. Since I bear a crest, my parents made sure I was never left wanting. My older brother didn't have one, and so when I was born, he was pushed aside. You know, he once shoved me in a well. He left me on the mountainside in the middle of winter, too. That's horrible. <sighs> Even as a little kid, I understood why he was like that. My mere existence stole everything from him. I have no right to complain when I am surrounded by people who would give anything to bear a crest, but do not. Now, women smile at me for the same reason my parents adore me, and my brother wanted me dead. And I have to meet them all with a smile and a wink, because I have a crest. Wait, wait, wait. And I have to meet them all with a smile and a wink because I bear a crest? I'm gonna say you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's late to admit it, but I get you. 
it would be best just to tell them to heap their empty praise elsewhere. Anyway, it was pretty unreasonable of me to resent you. I'm really sorry about that. And I want to say thank you, Professor. Seriously, thank you. For what? Before I met you, I'd gone my whole life not knowing there was another way for me to live. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad we met. Aww. Well, Hanuman, more quest time. Which means that there are some elements of your power that cannot be explained by current theory. Although this may lead to a discovery that alters the very fabric of Crest research. Oh, pardon me, Professor. I became lost in thought, and I do tend to ramble. I suggest we call it a day. Do you concur? Uh, I'm fine to keep talking. No, no, you mustn't push yourself too hard. When you are not in battle, you are so often here with me. I get so energized speaking with you. Well, I must remember to pull my head out of the clouds. That said, perhaps we should discuss things unrelated to crests from time to time. Some sort of silly, light-hearted topic might be nice, eh? Do you have one in mind? I'm not especially skilled at small talk, alas. Let me see. Perhaps we should discuss... Hmm. I know. Food. Not my strong suit, the culinary arts, but I do enjoy a good meal. Which kind of food do you prefer, Professor? Sweet or spicy? Wander, sweet or spicy? Wander says sweet. Mm, I, I do enjoy my sweets too. I like this occasional spicy thing, but only if it's mildly so. Sweet is nice. Sweet. Same as myself. Yes, indeed. Oh, now my stomach is growling. An old colleague of mine theorized that those who bear crests favor sweet flavors over spicy. She suggested that the crest exert some manner of influence over... Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> He's falling back. There I go again. How embarrassing. We were supposed to be avoiding talk of crests, weren't we? Terrible habit of mine. Finding a way to turn any conversation towards crests. I really should find a way to stop that. <laughs> Adam and his was suggesting that they talk too much about crests when they're together and that they need to try to talk about, talking about something else. So he's asking about food and just like, what food do you like? So it was sweet or spicy. And then he goes, oh yes, my colleagues believe that people who bear quests favor Why do I always say quests rather than crests? I, too much uh, Princess Bride? Ah, uh, no, crests. Uh, favor sweet things. So, of course, then he realized he was devolving into another topic about crests. In any case, it's okay, or we can talk more about crests. Let's go with the bottom one. That is kind of you, Professor, but it's all right. If you were to lose your patience with me, it could have an incalculable impact on my research. That sort of thing has happened in the past, you know. Back when I was still in the Empire, at first, any lady I was spending time with would titter and say she didn't mind if I talked about crests. But at some point, she would always become fed up and stop listening to what I had to say. In the end, invariably, while I was particularly focused on my research, she would write to say we were done. You may be a man, but I still don't wish for you to grow tired of my company. Ah, uh, so he's so focused and single-minded that it's often been an impediment in his relationships. That's unfortunate, Hanneman.
So it is Wanders you and games. I, Lysithia? Very well, then. With your two crests... <sighs> Hanuman, would you drop it already? Oh, I beg your pardon. I shall complete the rest of the work in silence. All the questioning was bothersome. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Most sorry. At any rate, it seems as if our task is at an end. I like how they actually brought up the the two crests again. Hmm. I think I got it. One step before the next. I'm starting to get it. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all instinct. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do the bad thing. What's the bad thing? Brattle. Brattle! Odlin's throw? Yep. Mm. It's just reusing a map. People like Grimori. I'm We're gonna turn off all animations. Savant, Bow Knight, War Master, the Dark Knight. Holy Knight, the Wyvern Lord, or Wyvern Lord, and the Great Knight. Yeah, we don't have a single Wait, Holy Knight or We don't great have a Great Knight. knight. Yeah. Is that a heavy armor knight? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So units, Catherine. Yeah, we need to use Catherine and Shamir. So Catherine and Shamir. Inventory items, Catherine. Where's the second EXP orb? Yeah. Oh, no. It's on Caspar. Didn't need it. Oh, we never... We haven't equipped anyone with the Raphael gem. Oh. We should just need the knowledge gem. You're right, there is the Raphael gem. It's the Crest of Lamine. Do we know of anyone that has the Crest of Lamine? It's not that amazing. Yes, but I want to see if we have a Crest of Lamine anywhere. Yeah, I can check that in a bit. I don't know if we do. Just gotta very quickly get rid of some of this garbage. Any other relationships you want to boost up from, with between people? Uh, I'm sure we we have more. Mhm. Mm Super book increases dexterity. I gotta figure out exactly what dexterity does. I think it's hit rate. I actually wouldn't mind seeing the rest of the Mercedes and Sylvain line. Among others. Yeah, because they were actually, like, having a relatively nice, friendly conversation. And we haven't seen any involving Lorenz, really. Nope, which is why... I just want to see someone put him in his place. But then is... again, most characters are... Yep. Tacitly. Let's see. It's actually part of the reason why I was bringing Lorenz along the last time. Uh -huh. How much EXP he got, though. Hopefully an amount. Okay. Uh, let's see. So units, we have Catherine and Shamir. Uh, let's bring see. Lorenz and someone yeah, else. Yeah, so let's find somebody that Lorenz can, can friend. I mean... Pretty much anyone. Ha who is he? He hasn't even received... Claude uh, Lysithia... He hasn't uh, even talked to Dorothea. Yeah, hasn't even talked to Dorothea. He's B rank with Hilda. Oh, Leone. That's an easy one. Oh, just because they're both cavalry? Oh, but no, no, no. She's not cavalry. She's flying. She's flying now. I forgot I, re I redid that. Uh, let's see. I guess let's bring Hilda and just give her Lorenz. He'll end up getting the A rank, but that's okay. Really, I was wanting to see him talk with other people. Uh, I wanted to get him up to like 30 so I could just start using him on missions. Ah, uh, I see. I also want to grab a couple of characters that I'd like to routinely use. 
that I'd like to get up past 40. Uh, let's see. I wouldn't mind seeing Sylvain and Felix and Sylvain and Ingrid speak more. Because they had that friendship trio. Yeah. Or more cities in Sylvain. Mm. Okay. So let's check Sylvain. So apparently he can have support with Lorenz. That's interesting. Uh, you know what? Is that what you're going to be doing? Yep. Get out of here, Hilda. Hello, Lorenz and Sylvain. Maximum yeah. Chad. Is it just going to be them complimenting each other on their noble upbringing? Who knows? Uh, let's see. Who can set a friend harder? Hanneman, Ingrid. Uh, oh, the only problem is... Oh, Leone. Okay. And then we're going to bring... X, Dorothea, and Mercedes. Any other, like, support casters we want to bring along? I guess we should bring Lysithia along just for warps. Now, I'm remember, if you heels. don't boost up enough with some characters, you won't even be able to get to their A rank if you run out of months. Yeah, well, the, end, uh, the game ends. So, on Chapter 20, I'm just going to go bananas. Uh... We might even want to do that off stream mm -hmm. to some degree. I what I could do is uh effectively I'm just I would just do random battles like this, uh buffing everybody's supports, mm -hmm. and then record the support conversations in just one block saying nothing. And then we just I don't know, play it on stream. Or just do an episode, I don't know. I'll crush them all. Anyway. Oh, no, she'll do fine. I'll never back down. I'm... Let's make this quick. That water bottle had an awful lot of suction. Well. Let's open up the cap and it's all poof. Okay, Destiny get in there, Seneth. Destroy. Destroy. What's my strategy? Who else do I have? More fighting. Nobody that can warp. That's yeah. okay. I'm just thinking what would be to any mortal that romances the main character, Sedith or Flame. Yeah. I will prevail. It just doesn't seem very fun. Okay. And in the What's instance the of flame, could it? At your service. Could they have? Could the mother have passed away almost a thousand years ago? Uh, what? yeah. Well, it'd have to be even more than a thousand years ago. Leave it to me. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyway. How to farm friendship and levels in one simple step. Make them solo the level. Problem solved. I can see <laughs> Can't hold me back. I oh right, I was gonna turn off uh their their turn. Cause this will go so much faster if I just turn their turn off entirely. Mm hmm Well, the battalions get to level up, too. Yep. Yeah, their max level is five, as far as I know. Ugh. Okay, options. Oops, battle. Battle speed, action skip. Perfect. Eh, honestly, warp or Yeah, that's a dicey area over there. Yep, small chance she'll be in actual danger, but like, oh well. Let's see. Mercedes? 
guess we'll just do Dorothea. Thoron. Winning is what matters. Oh, she's almost up to 40. Okay. Can you hit that guy? Yeah, you can. Child's play. And of course she's gonna end up being fairly overleveled. Ah. Bad stats though. Oh well. Anyway, get in there, last guy. Let's get things rolling. You knew the odds. I need the Let's see, set it. How much damage can you do to this thing? That well, it can't like a do cross any. cross between a vulture and a cassowary. What was that? That looks like a cross between a vulture and a cassowary. It really does. Oh. Cassowary resembled missed? dinosaur emus. She might have. They have a similar face to an emu or an ostrich, but then they have those crests on them. And the bright vivid reds and blues even i have bad days i see oh, i would have loved to have seen a moa My sp yeah but they went extinct in the 1800s or maybe no it'll before the 1800s destiny mm. unfurls I, that was the dodo. I'm trying to think yeah. of... Yeah. I think Moas went extinct. I think Moas went extinct. They, they were around when humans were, but I don't know if they lasted after the Ice Age or if they were hunted only a couple hundred years before colonists arise, arrived on um, Australia. I want to know the history of the Moa. My phone should be there. Surprised you don't have your phone on you. It's elsewhere. I think it might even still be in my purse. See, a Braxis? Oh, I've never seen this spell. A Braxis? Eh, it's just light beams from space. It's the Leviathan. So stretch fast. Okay. Go and get him. Oh, god dang it. Bird creature. There's actually photographs? Of Moas? There were nine species of them, and they went extinct. Wait, let me see. They do have a skeleton. Oh, okay. Maybe it was just a... Maybe that photograph was someone's artistic depiction. But I was gonna say, it's like... They occurred around 1300 to 1440. Due to overhunting by the Maori people. Yeah, so it was only in the Middle Ages or the Dark Times. Yeah, so by 1445, they had all gone extinct. Bit of a shame. But there were rumors that some of them persisted until the 18th and 19th centuries, but this view is not accepted. Some people claim to have seen them as late as the 1770s. And in the 1820s, one man claimed he saw them. See, what class is Sylvain? Paladin. Let's see. Huh. They do have My, some with flesh so on them and stuff like that. Oh, a reconstruction. So yeah, they've done... That was the photograph, the reconstruction of a uh, MOA. Do you think that would be the kind of thing that you could maybe 
like, fudge with cloning. I, it's possible. It's probably akin to woolly mammoths being, like, if you can splice the genetic information of a woolly mammoth to a, an elephant just and have the elephant give birth oh, to a woolly mammoth, rough. and then these guys look an awful lot like ostriches. Potential revival. It is a potential candidate for revival via cloning, especially because uh, they have soft tissue and samples that are only a couple hundred years old versus a couple thousand or million. Preliminary work has already been undertaken by Japanese geneticists. Okay, that's good. Interesting. Hmm. I'm realizing, even if I try really hard, we might not end up seeing all of these support conversations. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I'm just thinking about it, and it's like, we can't actually see support conversations between battles, which is kind of awkward. Uh, what do you mean see. by we can't see them? Like, we have to, it has to be between weeks to see the support conversations. I mean, that's that's more or less why I'm going to be just fighting things relentlessly here. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of X. We don't need X. We could use the Hanuman, though. I'll crush them all. Okay, I don't know... I don't necessarily know if it's immediately coming for me. More fighting. But I'm just gonna make this whole lineup just really dense. I remember to rally too. Onward. I will prevail. Okay, hopefully they just come after me. There they are. Well, she's proving herself to be a fairly confident, uh, competent character. <laughs> What's the plan? Which is good. Don't bother haunting me. Oh right, I should have done that with Raphael. I didn't bring Raphael, right? Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Looking at all those giant skeletons in the sand. Hmm. Let's make this I remember as a kid having daydreams about digging up fossils in my backyard. <laughs> my turn. That helps. Well done. Guide me well. Okay, that should safeguard Hanneman. Oh, it safeguards multiple characters. Well, that's kind of nice. But yeah. I wonder so how often old bones were used in, by people before archaeology was a thing. Interesting question. If Dunno. people in the past ever... It, it just seems odd because you don't really hear of people in medieval times digging up Dinosaur bones. No time to slow down. I could they Maybe they did, but they had no idea what it was, and it probably spawned legends spawned like dragons. dragons and stuff. Yeah, precisely. These look like the skulls of giant reptiles, and that they were. So pretty much I'm going to have to just keep really tight, uh, tight formations here. Mm -hmm. Always. Because the only way I'm actually going to be able to see friendship conversations is by, yeah, having them all just mushed up against each other 
constantly. <laughs> Wash battle. Thanks so much. It's it's not necessarily bad. It's just I don't know. Let's see. Now who's it gonna attack? How's it gonna attack? It's just gonna hit all of us. Uh Yeah, because I want to work on Lysithia Apologies. and Hanneman's uh, So we can learn friendship. more about the crests. Yeah. Let's see. These two can have a support conversation. Because, yeah, I would like to work on... Would that work on all three? Or four, depending on if people have adjudicants? Uh... Yeah, potentially. I'm assuming uh, adjutants. Adjutant, yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming adjutants actually uh, trigger as part of this as well. Could be wrong. Petra, Bo. Oh, and there it goes. Let's see. I want to learn the last one. Because, yeah, the more stacked up my people are, the more friendship points that just get, like, shared around. Our friendship. Our a friend. Okay. Rally. Let's move him right there. What I want is, like, Scythia and Hanneman to get close. Because they're, they're one of the other groups that I really want to get the, uh... The friendship points off on. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause... Let's see. We really gotta also figure out who can support conversation well with... Uh... With, like, Flane and Sedith and whatnot. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it'd be an easier list if it actually, like... I'm a little leery about having him have a conversations with... A bunch of the young female what, flame characters. Mom? Flame Mom Mark II? Uh... Damn it. Wow. Whoa. Warway. Goodbye, giant crawler. I don't think it's dead yet. I think he just took a layer off the thing. Oh, right. A layer. Yeah, this is one of the other things that I, I think I can do for massive friend points, is just gambit, gambit? boosts. Isn't it all as fair in love and war? <laughs> Not what I oh, that knocked it back. Anna has a tiny smidge of health left. Okay, move. Let's see if they're there. She's got a gambit. Oh, it'll only do one damage. That's exactly what I was looking for. And gambit. Wow. Let's get moving. His hurts. Fifty damage is nothing to sneeze oh. at. So Lorenz is with you? I hope that Lorenz and Lysithia get some points so that we can find out about their shared Gloucester lim um, lineage. So I want to know, was it a sibling or a distant relative of Gloucester that ended up taking House Ordalia? I don't know. You know? Was it a mother or Last someone else that passed the crest on to her? battle. 